Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been crazy a long time. So um, I will tell you guys what exactly I have going on, y'all. This is like super stressful, but we're gonna get through it. We're gonna do it. Okay, so um, this is gonna be a big difference of what I need to do. Um, so I am, um, I've been doing my budgeting, but I've been doing it, um, what do you wanna say, kinda like cashless. And I'll tell you guys the reason why um, it's cashless right now, but y'all, cashless is not for me. Like it is like the hardest thing ever. It's the hardest thing ever. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and um, as you guys know that I am a month ahead in my bills, let's go to May. I have my budget pretty much stickered out on my monthly calendar and I do have uh, my first paycheck budget. Um, because I am a month ahead, I like to just focus on doing the month um, ahead stuff one like one video and then I'll sit there and I'll do the next um, video for the rest of my paycheck budget and um, so the thing about this y'all is I am in the middle of I guess a house like underwriting and you know how you can't really like touch your money you have to be like you can't move money around and everything like that so I have to pretty much do all of my stuff cashless which is very 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 hard for me so we are still looking for a house so please pray that we find one in time and everything like that but um yeah so i have to figure this out and do it cashless which does not does not make me feel good at all <laughs> i like to have my cash in my hand but for my savings challenges i do still use um some cash and i will be stuffing my new savings challenge coming up all right and then also y'all i've been painting my tail off so um i just went ahead i haven't been to the shop to get my nails done i just basically um soaked off the gel and for right now just painting them if they chip off i'm okay with it because i'm not going to get my nails done if we move to another house and then i have to paint and then so that's just a set of nails gone to waste so and that's not what we're trying to do so that is my agenda so that's why you guys haven't really been seeing me and i've been trying to figure out how i'm going to do my budget and i have been pretty much like looking for houses and stuff like that because i have to do it before aiden goes to school so it's like a whole bunch of stuff and yeah so let's go ahead and let's get to it all right, so as you guys know, I am a month ahead of bills. So this month we are in the month of May. So we are doing the bills for June. So this is what this is going to be for. Now, what I do is I've already did like a little cheat sheet. And oh, yeah, my desk setup is totally different, y'all. So it is not the normal. So sorry if the lighting is not as bright as what it used to be. But right now we got things packed up, moved. So I have to just kind of deal with do what I can do when I can do. Okay, so I have the monthly of what I owe for all of these bills and I have the half of it and then if we get a magic month, I have it in thirds. So that's what I pretty much do for this. I do for the first bi-weekly paycheck, which is on the 12th and then on the, and Aiden's in the background yelling. Yeah, you know, he is so loud. He, I think he found his Legos. All right, so then on the 26th is when we have the second bi-weekly paycheck. All right, so our income is $2,095. The rollover from the last paycheck budget, because like I told you guys, I still do my paycheck budget, but right now it's just all coming out of my checking account. I can't be moving money in and out all the way out of your checking account. You got to be very, very like strategic with and cautious of what you do with your money. So you got $125 for um, income and so we got 2095 125 it feels so different without my gel nails on so what have you guys been up to because like i said i have not dropped a video in a long time so we got 2102 plus 125 so we got 2227 dollars now this right here i didn't do a due date because what i do is at the end of the month big chunk I just go ahead and pay all of the bills. So then in June, we'll be saving for July's bills. All right, so we got WOTA. And I'm not going to put date paid because, well, I guess I can. I will do this on the 31st because, like I said, I just take a big chunk of it and I just pay it. Now, I did kind of mess up because I did it for daycare. Daycare comes out exactly on the day that it's supposed to come out. And then I did mess up for... <laughs> 
Netflix because Netflix is automatic and alarm is automatic. But like I said, we've already got the money set aside. So in my checking account, so that is pretty much awesome. All right, so we got $50 and then we got, which is actual. So all of these amounts should be actual. 2350 85 50 So for all of you that's trying to do cashless, this might work for you. Um, yeah, <laughs> but this does not work for me. I like to have my cash in my hand, so there's no overage or shortage. So um, let's go ahead and we got 2227. Let's do 00 minus the $50. So it'll give us 2177 minus the 165. So that's $2,012 minus the $125. So that's $1,887 minus the $2,350. So we got $1,863.50 minus the $8,550. So $1,778. Okay, so now I did end up getting me some little press on, so I might try those because I like to have my I like to have my nails done, but you know, like I said, I'm not gonna pay like 35 40 bucks to get my nails done and then i'm gonna be painting walls and stuff so all right so minus 250 so we got 1135.50 minus 68.40 so we got 1067 so that's, so that's what, what we have left to play with 1067 dollars. so let's go ahead and add up our columns our columns should add up to the same thing so we got 150 165 125 2350 85 50 102 50 165 125 250 and then we got 6850 all right so we got 1160 1160 so we have that for our totals for our expenses that we are using for half of our monthly payments um, so I'm not doing anything with savings, but I will be adding to my little savings challenge. So this right here is pretty much done, like I said, because I have to get used to just doing like the uh, month ahead. I know I did it a, like maybe like one or two months, but I'm still kind of, you know, pretty much figuring it out. So that's what we're going to do for that. Y'all, I have missed y'all so freaking much. Like, I have not seen you guys in like a while. <laughs> All right. So, um, this is my new little challenge book that I have and they are almost here to me so i usually do like pre-orders but my pre-order with my wallet came like super late so y'all that junk has got me scared to do some pre-orders but um they've been pretty much shipping out um on time so um even with my samples the samples came pretty pretty quick so i do have another design that i will be doing and um i'll have another challenge so yeah so that right there so let's go ahead and see what we have for extra cash and i'm going to explain this little challenge to you guys it's not hard it's kind of like my 1000 savings challenge um and not like my 52 weeks the 52 weeks one um that i made that is a bigger binder but this is just the small i just thought it was super cute it's like a little notebook all right so you save 1550 dollars, and then you do have a little um card inside which i'll probably give you a few of these cards um so that if you can do it you can like kind of redo it in a year all right so as you can see i've already done one slot um for the 50 dollars. so we are actually going to be doing 50 dollars in another slot so we're going to go ahead and mark off 50 here and we can put this back in there it just slides in super easy so we're going to go to the next 50 dollars I don't know how I came up with this little idea. It's like these are, it's just, they're so cute. They're so cute and so easy to like kind of use. Um, yeah. All right, so that is all for this video, guys. I told you it's gonna be super quick. And um, yeah, so I have to do like cashless, but I will be doing some cash for certain things. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do my cash envelope wallet. I might not do as much cash. and might keep like my grocery money in there. I don't know, y'all. We'll figure it out to see what, we're gonna do but until i get like this house stuff and all this stuff done this is the route that i have to go for um for my budgeting but like i said it works so we're gonna do it like that all right guys so thank you so much for chilling with me through this video 
it was fun i hadn't seen you guys in a while and if you have not hopped over to my instagram it's called a pink cloth life and my tiktok is called a pink cloth life and then like i'll always say until next time guys peace